Okay, so now we are doing yesterday's daily need code problem. This is IPO and this is a very famous problem also. So let's start with uh, this one. Okay, so you have been given uh, suppose lead code starts its IPO uh, in order to sell a good price venture. Da, da, da. You have been given a profit array and a capital array. Okay, so this is the capital which you invest and this is the profit which you get. You have to do at most two transactions. You can say you have to at most k distinct project. You have to pick k distinct project to invest, right? So k is equal to two, and w is initial initial capital that you have, and that's only what you can invest. So you can only invest capital zero. You cannot invest capital one. Okay. So this is the thing. Uh, you are given an end project. Size project has this much profit. This much capital is needed to start it. You initially have W capital. So you can how many projects you can pick up who have the capital less than or equal to W. Those projects you can pick up. So we will keep. Uh, you know, uh, we will keep them in the first uh, iteration. That these are the uh, first options for you, which have capital less than equal to W. And which will we pick out of them? We will be greedy and we will pick which one is given and give the maximum profit. Then you will add your profit into your W. Then you will get your next W, you know, next uh, capital that you can go for. And then you will uh, update your capital and then you will uh, take some more elements which you can now take because your capital is now increased. So you will pick some more projects and uh, then see. Obviously, you remove that one so that previous one so that it does not come again. And you then you see all those which have giving you maximum profit and then you take that. So uh, maximum profit will be added to you this and then this is this. So there are multiple ways to do this. Uh, the only thing is the logic for this problem if I just discuss the logic. So first way is first thing is you have to know uh, observation one that uh, during first iteration. First iteration uh, what all you can pick what you can pick you can only pick those having capital less than w okay? capital less than w so now you can iterate on the complete array and then see those which have the capital less than w and put it in your there uh, in something data structure which give you the maximum profit in this and you want max profit so this is the this data structure is heap which can give you you know a max profit because you will store it like that right this uh, you will only store the profit of those capitals which you can take so these are the capitals that you can take you will not store them you just store profit of this so you'll just store one so you'll take one and then you'll add one to your this and then you have some more uh, so now you also should have this all capital list uh, in uh, arranged in ascending order so that i can just say key okay till now so this is the capital area given to you and you will arrange it in ascending order that's what i'm saying okay and keep this all the things right so uh, during the first citation your limit is up to w so that limit w is reached up to this point and over here the next capital is w plus one right so you can only take elements up to this so you will take all these elements then your w will get you know updated then you can take all some rest of the element you will not start from the initial beginning and take all the elements you will just start from the point where you left off and you will decrease one of the element which you just taken so you will mark it as cross or you can just remove it from the queue so that is how you will proceed and then you will you know mark another thing and then you will update your w and then you know take something something can be from this side also from this side also so let's say you took this and then again the next profit you can take is now the limit is being increased okay so now this is not your limit this was your limit and now this is your limit and then uh, this is your not not your limit you can pick anyone which is not taken obviously because this have been removed from the max heap so you will have a max heap to find the maximum profit and all these capitals are arranged in ascending order for this you can either have a vector of ascending order or you can have heap of min heap or something like that i just use a vector simple or uh, you could use heap also so just ascending order may sort all these things of uh, capital and profit and then take only those which you can in the first go so uh, priority queue max to have this and sorting is done on the based of capital and then uh, you'll start an iteration this is also what you could have done you could just you know start your max heap by you know taking all those elements we can which you can take during the initial iteration and put all the rest elements into this uh, v uh, you know v your vector uh, yeah or otherwise you can come over here and iteration number one k minus minus for first iteration you will see all those elements such that your id is currently zero 
and uh, all those element you will keep on taking so you will increase your id and push it into this push it into this and then keep on increasing your id so let's say you can take this you push this take this push push this and push your id so on so on so on and you push all of these elements into your max heap so you are pushing this all elements because their capital is less than our uh, w present and id is less than n uh, only that you can do you cannot go beyond the you know limit of the array and that's about it and then you see how many elements i have from which we can take we can choose so that should be greater than zero if it is zero you'll break out or you'll choose the maximum option which is present on the top you'll pop it from the list and then you'll uh, go on further on this capital uh like this all uh ele all elements now but your id is again id is stopped at that point let's say id is stopped at that point because your w was this so first first you your stopping point was that so your id is now became this so this is your id now and then uh, you are only going ahead from this id you are not starting from zero you are going ahead of this id so that is why the time complexity is still log n log n because you are processing each element just once and pushing into heap so n log n for that that's about it it was very very simple question if you uh, just see important part is just to have this vector and this max heap and this and this 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 uh the other thing which you could have done is you know uh, v dot push this and max dot push this and then we don't need to push everything into v sorting is already done sorting is done over here sorting should be done over here i think right and then again you can do same thing but you don't need to go for this initially but you can go for this like afterwards this so id is not zero id is something i don't know id is your max heap dot size right or we'll say it's zero okay so k minus minus you will see if your max size is not zero then you'll break otherwise you'll take this pop this and then all those elements which have you know uh, this and then you'll push them only if they are not present in max how you will say that uh, because all the elements which are present in this v are not present in max because element are either present in max or it is present in v okay so uh, if condition if your w is greater than or if your c of i is greater than w then only is going into that so then you just start your id equal to zero all the elements you'll push some 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 and then you'll do this and then you'll uh, take this and then yeah this should also work push is not defined but push back is defined right not less than but v dot size i think that should be fine with it because there are not n elements in your v now let's sum this up uh, it should give somewhat less time complexity i think around this uh 255 yeah 253 yeah that, that's fine okay that's about yesterday's daily lead code problem ipo question it is famous question right so that is why uh, we are doing this okay guys that's about it priority queue basic intuition kind of thing and uh, today's question was also intuition kind of thing max and min ka difference minimize karne ke liye we will try to bring them together either max ko upar le jao min ko upar le jao min ko niche le jao oh, sorry max ko niche le jao aur min ko upar le jao min ko upar lana mushkil ho raha tha to humne sabko max mein convert kar diya aur fir max ko dheere dheere niche la rahe hain iske liye we can use heap or we can use set uh, because max ko update karenge aur naya set hame hum har time pe max aur min dekhna hai max min max min dekhna hai to uske liye uh, set bhi kaam aa sakta hai kyunki set mein r begin hame max value deta hai aur begin hame minimum value deta hai so that's about it okay guys bye